Okay, Fox 5 Health News. Researchers at Stanford University say they are stunned by the results of a new experiment that helps stroke patients walk again. Joining us now is Fox 5 medical contributor, Dr. Devi Nampia Parampo. So good to have you here on this Friday. I love the fact that doctors admit that they were stunned sure, by I the mean, progress. Yeah, actually they weren't even testing to try to make the patients walk again. What they were looking at was safety because there's so much controversy regarding stem cells. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the accepted medical research, you know, they've looked at stem cells under the microscope, stem cells, how they work in animals, and they're just starting to do trials in humans. So the first step is always to make sure, are you causing any kind of problem in the humans, right? Like Are you no creating arm. cancer? Sure. Yes, yeah, exactly. So that's always the first step. So they were actually checking that. And then it's almost miraculous that out of these 18 patients, about seven started gaining back a lot of their And this is the video we're looking at, at people pictures, who weren't yeah. able to move prior to these treatments. Yeah, exactly. So to be fair, it's not all stroke patients. So they actually selected very specific stroke patients. So people who had problems with their movements, not mm -hmm. necessarily with vision or language, mm -hmm. but it's an amazing development. So it actually opens the door for more studies to look at the effectiveness, right? Like if they change the procedure a little bit, can they get more out of those stem cells and out of yeah. doing this? Is this, is this, remember, remember back like the 2000 election, stem cell research and funding and da da da, is this all still have to be privately? financed or how does that work? Well, so it's not all private, but it's usually public and private partnerships. Yeah. So for example, in this case, some of these companies that make stem cells have, you know, contributed them to the study. And at the same time, the government has also helped fund some of this research with stem cells. But just to, just to clarify, so some people, you know, if you Google stem cells and stroke or spinal cord injury or anything mm -hmm. else, I mean, you'll see things where they'll offer you this, let's say in other countries, or you can just go to a private clinic and go get it done. But that's something very different. So that wasn't really accepted research that was sort of people just acting on their own without knowing what the gotcha, risks or yeah. benefits were so this is actually a huge development because this is the accepted sort of scientific community sort of building on each of the steps that came forward yeah Look so which, which leads everybody to wonder how far off are they until <laughs> when this is actually going to be put into practice and make difference true but I think when people see this these this type of progress especially mm -hmm. in these studies at major academic centers then it kind of spurs more money getting oh, sure. into yeah, it, that video right? is worth oh, yeah. Yeah. untold millions of Raising. I mean, exactly. it's, it's incredible to so see. Everything is always small steps. So when you have these steps moving forward, then you get more progress because more people become more interested. Oh, <laughs> yes. Dr. Debbie, we appreciate it. That's Thank great you. news.